In the tank category number two, our next Peabody goes to NBC's coverage of the 2008 Beijing Olympics opening ceremony and to the designer and director of that ceremony, rarely have we used the term spectacular, rarely has it been this appropriate. <laughs> said it so well, Bob, earlier. This is this is Zhang Yimou creating a cinematic blockbuster in real time on the floor of a stadium. We're delighted to have with us today the executive producer and chairman of NBC Sports and Olympics, Dick Ebersol. Thank you. This is a particularly big thrill because my mentor and teacher, Rune Arledge, uh, set his sail by the Peabody Awards. And to win this one for our Olympic team is uh, a glory I thought would never come. And this glory is almost totally due to one man, Zhang Yimou, who sadly is not with us today. He's about to start a movie and the quarantine rules in place right now between China and the United States because of the swine flu keep this genius uh, in, in Beijing. But one part of what he did beyond the beauty and the spectacular program that you all saw back here in the United States is that he made a decision very early on to be inclusive which I think really is the essence of the Olympics. And more than a year and a half out, he let us in to really absorb this process. And in particular, David Neal, our producer of this fine event, and our director, Bucky Guns, who made so much out of the organized mayhem that we went through getting ready for that night. And then more importantly, I don't think anybody's ever been given three broadcasters the way we were that night. Bob Costas, who that night was doing his seventh opening ceremony. Matt Lauer, who came from the Today Show and gave it a humanity. And finally, this young man, Joshua Cooper Ramo, who works for the Kissinger Organization in China, but really brought to light what Chinese culture was that night in a way that I think all of our listeners really got the education that we so desire that you get from the coverage of an offshore Olympics. And to show you that this is a gift that keeps on going, and keeps on giving, rather, the, the opening ceremonies from Beijing, Zhang Yimou so enjoyed the American production of this event that he took it, replete with our logos, and made it available to the Chinese public, where it has become the most pirated video in Chinese history. <laughs> Thank you very much.